what's the future of uh, digitization in this industry? From our perspective, I think it's all about digitization when it comes to machine tools uh, going ahead. And we're all looking at the productivity and the efficiency enhancement. Um, and uh, historically, you know, this particular industry has been more towards automotive, but then now it's growing. Um, whether we talk about PLI pushing it through or uh, Nirbhar Bharat or even Make in India, I think a lot of other industries, for example, electronics is are catching up and then a lot of machine tool requirements are coming from there. And a uh, few other industries, for example, aerospace and even railways uh, are uh, other key industries which are being, you know, um, focusing on uh, digitalization as well. So, uh, what are the key uh, challenges that you are facing right now? I think the last couple of years, um, I think the major challenge has always been the supply chain, which to a large extent now is getting streamlined in terms of electronics and mechanical, obviously, uh, got streamlined a little uh, earlier than, you know, the electronics. I think going ahead, it's going to be uh, the demand generation by uh, all the industries. Uh, we all see, you know, people are talking about recession in certain countries. But hopefully India seems to be uh, having good parameters overall in terms of, uh, you know, the, the key areas. Uh, and then I hope India should be able to pull through uh, pretty aggressively. And then uh, it's, it's all about uh, managing the supplies and then, uh, you know, creating the demand to different industries and then, of course, working towards it. And what are the key trends that you are uh, you see as the um, most uh, adopted ones in the industry? In, uh, in the machine, machine tools, tool. I think it's uh, we may see a lot of uh, robotics automation is being talked about. Uh, 3D printing is, is another thing, and uh, of course you spoke about uh, digitalization and. Uh, I think industry for IoT connectivity and using a lot of this data and you know uh, working on it is, is the key area which is being on the board. Yeah. Okay, and uh, what are the products that you are uh, showcasing in Atempex? See, primarily we have two working solutions here. Uh, we can see a, a CNC which is. Uh, from the tier one uh, OEM here, and then we are using a star as well as star is a four axis robot and a six axis robot, and a vision system can work around the CNC, and that's the primary uh, solution. And then we are also uh, showcasing a servo press. We have two types of presses. One of the presses we are uh, showcasing is used for uh, transmission, electrical industry, and even bearings and also. Um, and then of course some products which are servos and um, yeah, that's it. And of course the CNC controller you can see at the back of the various types, both for lathe as well as uh, many applications. Okay. Would you like to talk about any budget expectations? So we, we obviously, you know, uh, from the perspective of the budget, uh, which is just around the corner, 15 days from now, yeah. I see uh, Maybe more uh, strengthening of the PLI would happen. A lot of more, more investments would be fed into that uh, area to bring in more uh, uh, more investors. And uh, for a company like us, who now in the automation sphere, we are already in 500 crores plus uh, this year. Uh, scaling up with a lot of investments in manufacturing coming through in electronics, automobile, and other areas would be much faster. And then I see maybe something if. Is being worked on the corporate uh, taxation it can always be helpful. Yeah. I think all in all, it should be a growth-oriented uh, budget going uh, And I don't see the infrastructure uh, uh, investments getting lower in any time soon in India. So over the next five or ten years, infra as well as manufacturing should be uh, on the growth trajectory for us. And budget will de definitely help. Thank you.